friends welcome back in a short video covering scenarios of uh, cluster administration so the next videos will be covering all these scenarios what happens when the node goes down what is the effect on the data on that node what about the reads and writes coming to that node will replicas get automatically activated if the node goes down so these are the questions that will be covering in the first scenario the second scenario what happens when the node that went down comes back what is the effect on the data on that node is that data reachable is that stale data these things will be discussed in the scenario 2 scenario 3 how do I add a node to the cluster what is the effect on the data on the cluster is there a downtime when adding a node to the cluster how are the v buckets distributed does it affect performance these are the questions that will be discussed in the scenario 3 how do i remove a node from the cluster what happens to the data on that node is there a downtime does it affect performance when removing a node these are the things that will be covered in scenario 4 in scenario 5 what happens when the node goes down and i fail over what is the failover doing what about the failover node what about the replica data on the node that was down is it still an healthy cluster these things will be discussed in five what happens when the node goes down and i auto fail over do i manually fail over or is it automatic when it will be automatic what is the minimum time duration for the auto failover those things will be covered in what cases couchbase will not automatically fail over what are the constraints that will stop auto failover that will be discussed can i auto fail over multiple nodes or groups if yes how to define that maximum limit will be covered in scenario six what if the node goes down you auto failover or failover and then the node comes up is the data stale what are the ways to recover which one do i choose so these things will be covered in scenario 7 can i handle rack level failures what are couch based server group these things will be covered in scenario 8 the next videos will be covering each and every scenario of cluster administration